All right, welcome back. Let's talk about uh, Dami Lola and uh, Dami Lola Dig with uh, uh, my wife's namesake. And because uh, my wife is taking sides with her now because she's a namesake. <laughs> I wasn't going to drag her anyway. It's, it's good. It's okay. Uh, everybody has uh, everybody has the right to do uh, what they want with their life. They have the right to go through their own journey as they deem fit. But if they're a public figure, we go there here. We go talk about it. We will talk about it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that's Damila Digbite and uh, and Nino flaunting their newfound relationship. I don't necessarily trust that it's a romantic relationship at this point. I don't trust that right now. Okay. I don't trust that right now because uh, maybe they just chase and clout, you know. But let's talk about it. I think that's the main topic to be had here. We're going to have a conversation anyway. Okay. Because a lot of people do make uh, the mistake of jumping uh, into another relationship. And honestly, there have been situations where it worked out. I'm not even going front, okay? There are situations where it works out well, right? And I'll tell you, uh, in those one of, uh, not one, I won't call it one of, there's a lot of situations where it works out, but I'll tell you why it works out if it does work out, okay? If you, I'm, I'm also the type of guy that, you know, if you, if I chop breakfast, I will probably, because I don't have a problem attracting women. I probably will jump back at something, okay? Because it probably will make me feel better, <laughs> okay? I'm just being honest. Now, I probably won't subscribe to a long term so soon, but it might look like I'm loving up on somebody so soon, publicly. It might just look like it, okay? It might just... I'm just being honest with you, okay? But uh, with that being said, I think there's a conversation to be had here, okay? All right, let me see here. I'm trying to see what the caption says, okay? So there's a caption here, the actor Bolan Lee and Nino Lewis lovely video of himself and his bae. All right. And um, just uh, the reason why we're talking about this is because uh, just about what, less than six months ago, it should be about four or six months ago, that we covered this, uh, this gentleman's uh, story here. He came out, he announced to the world that his wife of 16 years, they were now separated. Okay, they were going there. They decided to go their separate ways. Before that, he was doing what he's doing right now. Okay, he was doing what he's doing right now. He was doing it with his wife on the internet. So people really, really, um, people really uh, yielded to it. They loved it. They like ah, you know, you know. People turned them to kind of like you know the same. People were disappointed that he came out and announced that. And they kind of felt for him because he also, most people fell for it. I didn't fall for it because I'm like, I, I smell all kind of, uh, you know, I smell all kind of through his statement. I was like, this guy, like, yeah, he, you know, uh, he lacked the game <laughs> to maintain his relationship. And he also has results to, to back that up from the past. He had been separated from his wife for an extended period of time in between that 16 years as well, you know. Uh, just because they like him doesn't mean it's his fault. It's actually faults are not relevant. Okay, they're not relevant. So for about four months, four to six months ago, he announced that he separated from his wife, and uh, but now he's flaunting this other actress. Her name is Damilola Adibite, flaunting her on the internet as uh, some kind of newfound love. There's a possibility they're just chasing clout. Maybe they're trying to sell a movie or something like that. It could be. But we don't know. But I wanted to know what are your thoughts, and then I'll speak to this. All right, because again, Bolani you knows Lowe's new romance, maybe with Damila Ligute, less than four months after marriage split, right? And also, don't forget that Damila Ligute also uh, is a she's a divorcee from what's the name of the actor? She was married to an actor. Okay, they're actually friends with a close friend that I know here, and they were spending some time in Jersey here for a while before they splitted i think she has a daughter too right if i'm if i'm correct i think she might have a daughter but i don't remember diary anyway so um that's what's going on right now and uh, i felt like okay there's some lessons we can get out of this um how soon is too soon how soon 
it's too soon to jump back into uh, a relationship after a long-term relationship like the one he had with children, grown children, uh, after it has fallen apart, right? How soon is too soon? Is there some kind of formula to this, right? Like anything else that's worthwhile in life, there is a formula, okay? The formula is not one plus one equals to two, obviously. There are X factors, there are Y factors, there are Z factors. Just because there are multiple variables does not mean there's no formula. There are formulas, okay? For those that will say, there's no formula, just do you. You just collect. You just collect anyhow, okay? There are formulas everywhere. How soon is too soon is what we're talking about, in your opinion. Uh, Maria says, what a visually aesthetic couple. If it's real, I hope they are happy. I think a lot of people have a soft spot for both of them. People like, like a lot of people's favorite is Nino, right? A lot of people's favorite is Damilola, right? Damilola is a good looking girl, right? Uh, lady, I should say. So, you know, so I get it. <laughs> Right? I hope it works out well for them. They will become another relationship goal, right? <laughs> right? Dilo say, he he, wait to be this one like this. Dami and Bola. Did I miss a show? Ah, mm, that's why I do this show. Maybe I bring. Uh, sometimes I'm surprised that I'm the one that bring it first to you guys, you know, because it's gone viral for like a few days and then. But I'm not that surprised too. A lot of you are professionals, you're busy with life, you know. Stefan said, Nino fine die. I am biased. Of course you are. I get it. I get it. I get it. Um Dami is a stunner. It's been what three to four years since her divorce. Alright, I guess. I thought it would be more than that, but you know, so she's not fresh out of her marriage. He's fresh. He is fresh, like raw, raw fresh, you know. So, and when a man is fresh, I, everything else being equal, I actually think it's more dangerous when a man is fresh, you know, if he needs to hang out and do his thing or whatever, you know, do that uh, as long as that's what he's doing. But again, they can show us what, whatever we want to see on the internet. They are also very aware that uh, this kind of things, this kind of uh, will go viral, right? Stefan says maybe just a rebound. That's what they call it, right? Rebound. I'm that guy, okay? If I chop breakfast, I'm doing rebound, okay? But it's not going to be one rebound. There's not one rebound that I will be holding hands in public and now she'll be calling me and say, who was that? I'm like, who was that? What do you mean, who was that? Well, you can't be holding my hands and now yes, we're not going to do none of that, okay? I'll be a free man for a while, okay? All right? That's how I would do it. Some of you have read my book, so you have an idea. <laughs> All right, so um, I am I'm shaking in my boots for this girl. It's too early for Bolanli to be with anyone. He needs an ego repair first. I think so too. I think so too. It's dangerous. It's d -d 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 dangerous. I think it's dangerous personally. Okay, but I'll talk about some exceptions in a second. Okay. Um. D love, I'm not concerned for Dami. Lobaton. <laughs> I'm just worried for her. She comes across a little fragile for this bad boy. You know, this uh, Nino gets a lot of attention. Right? Nino gets a lot of attention. So can she handle it? Alright? Maybe she can. Maybe she's like, let me just get my money. We're gonna go viral and get my money. Maybe she is. Um on that one, even that one self, I've seen this for a while. I'm gonna call cap. Stop the cap. <laughs> I'm gonna call cap on that, okay? These people, no matter how much attention they get, or no matter how much they try to pretend like it's all about money for them, they get caught up in their emotions. They do. At least one of them will get caught up in their emotions. At least one person. Emotions no be your mates. It doesn't matter how much money we're dealing with. Do you, how, is any one of them as rich as Will Smith? Will Smith got caught up in his emotions and went and slapped the crap out of another man. 
Is it? Are they as rich as Will Smith? Will Smith can be like, you know, they can all make noise on the internet about my wife. I'll just leave it alone. There's a comedian on stage, so hmm, I'll just leave it alone and just get our money. We we'll sell another book, right? What did that man do? He went on that stage and slapped the like open hand slap, right? At least one person will get caught up in their emotions. Emotions is not anybody's mate, okay? So I'm calling cap on that. They might, that might be their intention, but somebody's gonna get caught up in their emotions. That's my prediction, okay? It's just a prediction, I don't know. That's my prediction though. All right, so uh, I'm not judging, but I believe Nino is attempting to make his wife jealous. Hmm? That's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> right that's even worse than judging right so never mind what your personal intentions are for posting the comment let's talk about nino if this is true which is possible it's possible that this is true it's even worse okay and it's worst for him and you know it's bad for danny <laughs> right if that's the case but some people do that. Some people are that weak. They need to make another person feel jealous. That's their quick out. Is their quick controlling behavior coming out. There's some people like that. If you do something like that, you collect. All right? It will come to you. Some people do that. I think he really, feel, he, he really wants her back. If I was a woman, I would not trust him this soon after the breakup. Yeah, it's a bad idea, bad idea. Completely bad idea. Um, Yule and Judy 2.0. <laughs> Without the polygamy. Wahala. <laughs> uh, the Ghanaian actor, Atuk or something. I forgot his name. Not Atuk. It was, it's a more common name. Damilo Adigbite and I forgot his name. Dark skinned brother like that. Um, can't remember his name. I don't remember. Um... It, if it is too soon for him, Mario says, yeah, the public stuff, you know, if he just wants, you know, to just have a companionship, want to hang out with a young lad, have fun, whatever, I don't think anything is too soon for that, honestly, okay, they probably started that before the marriage ended, anyway, you know, but to come out and, yeah, and the issue with this is that yeah, this, even if you have good intentions, this is not a big deal. It's not that deep. There's another human being involved. You can hurt yourself in that process. Uh, we'll see how it goes for her. Paula says, I don't think a person can heal from a long-term relationship or marriage in such a short period. You have to take time to heal and reflect so you won't make the same mistake. Just my opinion. Yeah. There's... Um, there are some of us, part of our personality, maybe part of how we are built, you know, um, there are some, not all of us, right? There are some of us, we just, you know, we need to feel like we still got it. If you chop breakfast like that, that, that shoots your, that, that shoot your self-esteem in the head, pow, 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 right? Sometimes you need to feel like you still got it, right? But that doesn't have to be anything public. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, right? It doesn't have to be anything public. And try to mix that up together with this is just fame. Let's use it to make money. It's actually, it becomes more of a dangerous recipe because human emotions mix all together with that. Now you're mixing business and reputation. It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. <laughs> it's just a bad idea. Right? Eyes, eyes. My G, how far? How you there? Welcome. Um, eyes, eyes says, this no matter shocked me. I was in denial, but all good. They're all adult, but why the social media validation? He wants to make her feel jealous, like Paula said. Maybe, right? Hmm. Our ex remarried an American. African-American. Yes, I remember that story. He remarried an African-American, and then that person, some criminal, that person's ex was a criminal. Oh, some weird story like that. Chris Atto. Yes, yes. Um, I'm trying to remember that story. You guys can bring me up to speed. Uh, he remarried an Amer African American, and that person they might be divorced now. I think they're divorced now already again. And that person's ex was a criminal or something, something like that. Jesus Christ. 
It's a lot of drama there. <laughs> Less than a few months, she was spied at her job. Oh, yeah, yeah, she, okay, yeah, she was spied at her job parking lot. Yeah, that's what I remember, not divorce. That's true. You see, I don't, I'm just in real time. I don't really read full comments. Um, that screwed the actor American Dream. Oh, so he was trying to get the Amer Oh, my God. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, MOP, Dami's ex was Chris Atto. Yes, I knew his surname was Atto. Okay, that's what it was. That's what he said. I took. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, the lady got deleted. Yeah, that's terrible. Yes, they said it was her ex, but mm. all right. So here's the thing. Uh, let's 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 round it up like this. How soon is too soon to move on? Right. When it comes to relationship and relationships and marriages, t t time has time has the reality of it. That things that happen in seasons, right? Like I always push back at our Indomie ideologies, Indomie generation ideologies, right? But when it comes to relationships and uh, emotional matters, marriage, anything like that, anything that's purely driven by emotions like that. Um, time is just one variable out of many many other things right so how soon that will vary that will depend on case but I'll tell you what doesn't vary okay and what cannot vary okay I'll tell you what is true across the board as well okay what is true across the board is this okay when you jump from one situation to another and you have not self-reflected okay if you haven't done that and understand yourself, you are probably going to repeat the same, the same story all over, all over again. Okay, and God helps you, <laughs> and God helps you. Okay, yeah. Uh, when I say repeat the same story, since we can't put number on on time, we also can't put number on. But I'll tell you like this: it to it to be worse. You need to take your time. Precisely why you can't deliberately delay anything. You need to be in a position where you are taking your time. If you put yourself in a position where time has become an element or you become desperate, remember we're talking about emotional matters, we're talking about romance, we're talking about attraction, okay? You cannot seduce from a place of desperacy. Is that a word? Being desperate. I don't know if desperacy is a word. If you are operating from a place of fear, like you're desperate, you cannot seduce that way. Okay? At least you cannot seduce long term. Okay? You might have a natural, you attract men, women, whatever, right? Like a Nino. You might not have any problem attracting people. But if for some reason what you want is long term situation is long term situation, a long term sustainable situation, you can't survive it. <laughs> because when you're operating from a place of fear and being desperate, you would you would basically try to again force time into a box, right? You try to force the concept of time into romance and you're going to come off as needy and neediness is not going to work when we if we know anything about relationships particularly romantic relationships being needy is not going to work so if the person is not moving as fast as you need because you remember we're talking about how soon you jump so fast into it there's a good chance this is how you do things you're very fast you make quick decisions you just you make impulse impulsive decisions right one day one day right when c finish don't enter you will need that person to catch up she took about three four years right since her divorce and you didn't see anybody with her right now she's probably feeling good about this situation okay good but you just jumped into the situation the idea you're trying to make another person jealous if that is a thing at all to see it doesn't have to be the reality sometimes it just has to look that way because remember there's another human being involved right so if it looks that way after a while She's going to be like, well, you want to be with me or you want to hurt your ex? Like, what's this? At some point, she might be enjoying that right now. 
At some point, she's gonna be on the collecting side of this equation. So, you need to be careful with that. Again, if you want to just get out, have some fun, get to know some people, um, you know, uh, network, there's nothing wrong with that. And we can't put a time limit on that, okay? But time is a real variable in all of this and in terms of him, right? Four months, a whole family, 16 years relationship. Even if, even if it's as simple as we're faking it, I just wanted to make her jealous. Like I said earlier, it's worse. It's actually worse. It's actually worse. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, as I said, my take, as I will miss you. So my take is Nino posted. I said, uh, we, we meet on Instagram. Make sure you're following us on Instagram, okay? And she's also part of our, our behind the scenes conversations, which you can join at uh, lola and ola.com slash whatsapp. No, WhatsApp. Is this such WhatsApp? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> there you go. Slash WhatsApp. You can join the behind the scenes conversation, lolanola.com slash WhatsApp right there. All right. So she said, um, my take is Nino posted his ex wife days before his post about divorce. Hmm. Ask people timing. Hmm. Hey, Keeper. Good to see you. Miss you. Haven't seen you in a while, too. Uh, why put your relationship online for a lady that has been very private now all over automatically leaving Nino's life it's not yeah it's a bad recipe for disaster okay not particular for Nino maybe he knows what he's doing okay but for all the online Ninos that may try to replicate this Papa you collect um you, if anything, you might even set Damilola up for failure. Because she's expecting that all of this thing is going to keep happening. If there's any gap somewhere between that it doesn't happen the same way that it's been happening, it's going to be a rude awakening. It's going to create a shock. Right? So, I, I, I think, I think uh, in general, uh, when, when we're talking about romance, the point here is that you want it's not about the timing i don't know what how soon i don't have an answer for how soon because for everyone it varies right um but the work cannot be skipped okay now how much work this person needs is different from this person from this person from this person from this person how much work every individual needs will vary depending on like remember there's a y z x factor right the variables right i don't know what yours are right so it will vary right but the work must be done okay if too soon means you skip the work okay listen to me carefully if too soon means that you skip the work you will collect okay you go collect if too soon means for whatever reason somehow you've managed to do the work that you never know maybe they are our next you know relationship goals right we will rejoice with them right now in four months i, I really don't know how but never say never right That's way. i don't know i don't know but never say never that's one of the things i learned a long time ago never say never you never know it might just work out for them okay if you ask me i think it's too early to flaunt another public figure i think that's that will get messy okay but there are exceptions maybe he knows what he's doing maybe okay maybe but if he skipped the work and he's trying to make another person jealous he will call it. All right. It's just a reality. No, 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 no. This one is not different. This one is true all the way across the board. All the way across the board. Okay. 
Nino is good within craft. I wonder why he wants social media validation always. You never know how people's pockets are. Maybe he's like, these people get popular. They're making so much money in this social media street. I need some of that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jerry. I size. I appreciate you. Um, Nino shouldn't put any more relationships on social media because that was one of the reasons. I agree with you because that was one of the reasons because I didn't realize it was fronting it like that on social media. The only thing I saw that I was interested in was the statement he made which I could read in between the lines and I could tell that this man right here has a, a mismanaged ego, right? And it's probably led down to the demise of his marriage, right? Has nothing, has nothing to do with um what do you call it has nothing to do with the fact that um uh you know he cheated i don't think like i don't think people leave for cheating people leave be, cheating might be a trigger all right cheating my serial cheating che cheating can cause people to leave but for the most part people don't leave because of cheating it's just a reality okay that doesn't mean people should cheat what i'm saying is that there's more that goes into into why people decide to leave at some point or decide to end the marriage right so but then when we started to have a conversation you guys helped me to realize that he had been flaunting his marriage all over social media they did you see that camera is following them on the mountain somewhere well i'm not gonna get into that right now but let me see here not to see you i'm coming right to you exactly uh out there she's not a saint but private yeah exactly uh nino likes to show he's openly expressive but can dami cope yeah because dami seems like the only thing she shows she works out she because i follow her on instagram too she walks out she shows her curves she shows her body whatever but she's barely saying anything is she ready for this life <laughs> uh we shall find out <laughs> niger don't believe in therapy and even if they don't get the lesson just to satisfy their spouse yeah we shall see we'll be here covering it because i i have a feeling you know i have a very i think chris showed dami pepe so nino is probably mild to her because nino is a lover boy right i think i think uh chris was chris was like was that was that guy like you know he wasn't a lover boy like that um from the first break up he has always wanted to prove a point but didn't flaunt another woman okay so he's probably just tired mm -hmm. he goes explain tired this one that he's doing right now is explanation okay and you know what happens <laughs> you go explain 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 because no evidence no oh, evidence he go explain tired listen i have a feeling not to not to you there I have a feeling that nino is yeah, going to keep nino is going to keep bringing content for us to discuss on this platform that's what that? he's doing yeah okay we're here that's for what it. he's doing he needs to cash out on it now acting rules know they come in again <laughs> put your mic I on the, put, your, this... put your mic on the put your mouth on the on the mic on the mic properly and you know this social media money it mm -hmm. comes in dollars <laughs> Yeah. Oh. So you think that's what he's after? Money? I I, I have a strong feeling because this is just too soft. I appreciate you, You Nene. know what I'm saying? Good night. And, and you know another thing that um, men don't realize, especially when you sign up to become a parent, mm -hmm. like your total outlook on life changes. Things that you do before, I just feel like, uh, so what is my life? You have to remember that you have kids that are watching you. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's just like you having a boy and then you turn out to be a wife beater. Someone is going to think it's okay. Mm. Do you understand? So, if, if I'm not saying he has to stick to his wife, but mm -hmm. if you start going through this, maybe he takes time to be by himself, maybe get to go to therapy, get some healing right. before he jumps into something else. Like his daughter is watching, right. his son right. is watching. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're teaching mm -hmm. them accountability. And you're teaching them um self-care too do you mm. understand prioritizing your mental health and other stuff like that right well but like you used to say sometimes the marriage ends before we know 
the marriage exactly. ends before it goes into long divorce. before, so long before. exactly mm -hmm. but the reason why we will argue and drag this was because a few weeks before he posted the divorce mm -hmm. he was posting him and his wife mm. so we don't know if that's an old video that he kept posting to me because feel like something is going on and all of a sudden he pulled a GZ on us <laughs> right i don't know but honestly speaking like you said that was just right sometimes you need to give yourself you need to give yourself time yeah you know, it's for you it's not for the other person let's just, let's just hope it's a movie let's just hope it's a movie like it's a movie they're trying to promote right yeah all right let's just right. say it's a movie for me i don't really care about bola lane you know and uh damn lola i care about all the other ninos and and uh damn lola out exactly there. That would think this is the uh this, this is how is you it. do it back like no you collect that's, how, that's why i was saying that especially his kids you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying they're watching yeah. is this okay no yeah yeah nobody's saying that he has to go back to his wife or he can't have somebody else but the point is take care of yourself yeah that's actually the main point take care of himself first because now because damn lola comes with certain amount of energy the social media rhetoric is gonna consume a certain amount of energy, mm -hmm. so that's that much energy taken away from taking care of yourself. Yep. You know. So. Yep. Yes, Jerry. Thank you. That's all you wanted to come and say because me, I want to round yes, up quick. Yep. Yes. 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 All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good night. All right. Take care. Ice, ice. Long time. Mm -hmm all right uh she may be enjoying it no they're definitely enjoying it right the question is that is this a healthy thing to do right you know it's good and and the thing and the thing still is uh just proving a point we shall see we shall see one thing i keep saying adults are too selfish yeah when they, especially when they get caught up in their emotions Nino can't be alone and he will have a queue of women for a very, very long time. He doesn't have to be alone, but he can try to be alone on his page, on his social media pages, and just focus on work, right? Like I told you, I have the same personality. I will have to push hard against myself not to jump out in the street. God forbid, I chop breakfast. I will have to try very, very hard. It's going to be a lot of work for me, okay? So, but, uh... <laughs> Again, let's hope he knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Kids be devout. Those kids will be all right. That's probably the ultimate of what they're what they're thinking, you know. But yes, um, another great session. I told you, I, I did tell you it was going to be a big show. So this was a big show. Do me a favor, hit that like button, share, subscribe, turn up your notifications, okay? And um, you know, let's. Uh, let's make let's make it a great evening okay let's make sure you're notified when i do go live all right uh i'll be back here tomorrow and i'm dropping a ton of content before then too so make sure you're paying attention all right hopefully you've been enlightened educated i'll see you on the next one peace Touching and kissing me up on the floor, the coach in the kitchen. One loving up, we done enough.